how much? All of it. fire. I'll edit that out. You look cool. Don't worry. I'm not. not. Body slammed it. I didn't really do much there. I just tilted it up a bit. Yeah, but now it's upside down, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. Now this here is the mark of a minty f***ing feller. That's awesome! <laughs> I made her back last night safe and sound everything went mint this thing dialed down the highway just beauty and the plan was to remove this rest of this pile of dodge from this glorious motor and uh well that was the plan the plan was going good and the plan was minty as Willard was still stunned and then i left my truck in uh in neutral 
and uh, it clearly just rolled into my trailer and completely itself. So we're gonna fix that quick and then we're gonna get back to our uh, regular scheduled program. Willard, you know how you usually get stunned of the month? Well, I got stunned of the day. Can I have it for one day? Yeah. Holy am I stunned. Alrighty, well let's alleviate this poor engine from the pile of Dodge that it's been attached to for the last eight million miles. Man, this thing's struggling. Man. So I thought I'd give you guys a little gander as to the disastrous debacle that has become of this shipping crate. It, it looked pretty rough. Well, even before we flipped it, it was it was looking pretty hard. These uh, these dodges don't hold together the greatest. The frames are usually cracked. The uh, radius arms are usually broken right off. Well, the owner usually uh, could suck start a bulldozer from across location, but this one's special. I mean, look look at the bugger welds on there holding that thing together. I mean, what what's going on here? So when I go and buy these old engines, most of the time they're attached to a corpse that looks something like this. Either it's uh, completely rotted out or the front end's completely fallen out of it or it's just not fit for the road anymore. The Dodge has completely rotted off the 12 valve Cummins. So what I like to do, this is kind of like an archeological dig. What I'll do is I'll look at different things on the, uh, on the old pile of and just to see who it might've belonged to at one time or another. So, we have some real hard farmer fixes here. We got some ready rod hanging out of there. No doubt holding that garbage uh, center axle disconnect into the lock position. We got ready rod and some kind of a hold up piece of flat bar holding that thing together. There's just been a lot of things on this old hoor that haven't been given a about or a boot. So this is pretty bad. This is not good. But I mean, we're not have to worry about this because it's gonna go right where it belongs so all of that ready rod all that flat bar all that fiddle around on that would lead me to believe that that engine and that truck was owned by a dirty old farmer which is awesome nothing fixes like a farmer fix so i've gotten to knowing farmers in my day and if there's one thing i've learned and that is if their temporary fix works it now becomes a permanent fix that's just how it goes Alrighty, so going back to the uh the dig here this engine has been severely mistreated so i've seen some oil leaks in my day but this is fan fantastic so you gotta look at her here buddy gave zero about his uh valve covers leaking so what he did he just kept driving it and you could tell by the layer of dirt that's infused and entwined in there it got all infused and entwined I'm that means they lived on a dirt road dirt road lots of oil leaks and farmer man all right so you got the signature of a farmer just 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 like radiant off of this thing so far right so this tensioner is given up a long time ago she's completely wampus to the rest of the belt drive can't believe the ac pump oh i wouldn't call that good but it's not completely usually these dodge ac pumps are just struggling so the other thing that's really bad is i don't know if this happened while he was driving it or what the happened but you see the big gap up here that's good but down here she's damn near running into the case so either the bearing is completely piled up or it hit something at one time or another but then you get over to the injection pump see now this is where my brain starts to think yeah yeah, yeah. what is that it's thinking it's what thinking you're thinking you know your brain's probably using parts that have never been used i reckon this engine was owned by a farmer right and fired up every day went to work feeding cows doing all the rest of the fiddle free and the old timer owned it treated it like absolute shit, gave her all the way and he either died or gave it to his kid or something happened there because what we have here is some absolute debacle going on with the afc there's some high heat silicone here i'm gonna guess this thing holds it all the way into the danger zone this thing is loose so someone was dialing the smoke screw all the way to 11. the governor has this weird i don't know what the going on we gotta we gotta have a look at that i think what this is is the square nut with another bolt doing something to plug off the governor because someone might have been with the governor oh this is loose well that's bad which way is this guy oh well, that's going the right way everything's loose on this thing that's what she said nothing really makes sense here i wonder i don't know what's going on i don't know if this is gonna run or not but check this out this is a real treat right in here i don't know what the they did but there's a nut with a there's a whole bunch of shit. we got to take this apart quick and have a gander at it what in vegan farting is going on here so this was 
fucked up like a left-handed Frenchman. I've never seen such fiddle before so basically what they had here which this is a disaster this could have ended real badly for this injection pump so this guy was screwed into there yeah no big deal right i don't know what exactly this is but then it had this old carriage bolt sticking through the back side right and then it had this nut onto here and this guy onto here so if this nut were to back off i mean i mean it's not for a lack of high heat silicone on here but if this nut were to back off like so then this thing would have went right into the injection pump and it, it probably wouldn't cause any damage at all but that all right so this engine is bordering on the uh maybe a newfie owned it there, there had to have been a newfie or a left-handed frenchman because this is seriously up my goodness but everything inside the injection pump actually looks nice and clean so what we'll do is we'll uh clean up this debacle weld something to it and put her back in there like what a disaster my it's all pretty surprising because there's always a fucking welder on the farm and there's always a box of really wet 7018 laying around but then they decided to fucking build that debacle to put this thing back together it really makes the guy fucking think eh i'm gonna use all the old stuff to put this back together i mean why waste a good carriage bolt so i don't know what in two newbies in a wooden boat happened here but this was hacked off of something you can see the the hack marks there i i don't know quite as to what fiddle here, but i washed her up put it all together it, it goes in the hole not bad it's a little slopped out but i mean i'm used to that and uh I put this weld on there to keep her from bottoming all the way out and we even used the stock 18 mil nut to hold her all together all right so one governor spring looks not bad i think yeah that looks good i think oh yeah the threads are so someone's definitely a newfie here but that one's holding together let's spin her over and see what happens the motor doesn't feel tight at all which is good but there might be a little oil trapped in the top end. What from, uh, you know. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can't bump it over with the starter. Just, just gently, right gently with it. Before we do that though, we gotta do a dodge wiring delete. I mean, this thing could infect all kinds of vehicles around here. Nothing worse than secondhand electrical problems. Oh look, the dodge is just let it just fall right off. I wonder what happened here. Oh, he's had a piece of old heater hose or something. <laughs> this thing's been well taken care of. So I don't know if I've said this yet, but I definitely did lay under this carcass of a thing and hear it spin over before I paid anything for it, which is a good idea. But uh, I think her little flip upside down was uh, maybe the cause of this. Wait a minute. That's what's wrong with it. Dodge is half ass an attempt of making a 12 L Cummins theirs. Ugh, look at this cheesy piece of uh you know what we got a different spot for you would you guys just feast your eyes on this beauty oh man what a treat oh there's already some dodge in there there you go go f yourself dodge all righty well after a little bit of fiddle the old barring tool jammed her home in here spun her over a little so now bump it and see what happens here oh it was a bad sound well it's coming to the intake so alrighty well being that this thing may or may not have gotten dropped and uh may or may not have f***ed up a bunch of stuff right here and might have shrapnel a bunch of stuff down into the intake we're gonna go ahead and pull all that off and uh have a gander down her throat hole just to make sure there's not a bunch of in there dipstick is struggling still works though any oil in it oh yeah there's something in there it's brand new too well, this thing probably always had brand new oil on it, being that it was always leaking it out. That one's barely even bent. Oh yeah, that one's not bent either. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, big chunk of dirt. But I mean, grid heaters are basically filters. Oh yeah, looks pretty good to me. This guy's struggling. All right, let's just have a little gander down her throat hole here. Oh, say ah. Uh, no, there's a little bit of in there, but it'll suck that up. That's fine. Cranks over 360 degrees. Pumps all plugged off. We gotta get some fuel to the prick and maybe a little bit more oil. Probably a little bit more oil for sure. Alrighty, so as far as oil is concerned, it's gonna get nothing but the finest use money didn't buy. Maybe a couple pine needles too. Oh yeah, it loves that. You know what? We're gonna lift it up and then pull the drain bung just for a second, just to make sure that we're not dealing with a whole bunch of water in the bottom of the pan, because that'd be real bad. All right, well that looks like uh, I'm making the floor a mess, but 
It looks like old water or oil. One of the two. That's good for these impacts, keep them lubed up. All right, well, we got this battery hooked up Ugh, with the shittiest fing Chinese. These things aren't even steel, they're aluminum. It kind of sucks that you can't swear it in the Amazon review section, but let's see if it turns over. Of course, this battery's dead. Is it dead? I think it's dead. It's dead. Why is every battery always dead? Let's see if this is going to do it. Is this going to do it? You hear that backfiry noise? That's a bad noise. I wonder what hole's doing that. We might have to uh, pull a valve cover or two here and have a gander on what's going on inside of there. It's not good. It's not good at all. It's probably still gonna start though. It's 12 valve. Loud noises! Well, that's not even that bent. Well, those are not good. That's no bueno. Is that a bent push rod or? That's not good. Let's see what's uh, under valve cover number five. More really bad stuff. That's not good. Are those bent push rods or? Probably bent push rods. Number four, same thing. Exhaust valve is just. All right, so far, every exhaust is bent, except for number three. Number one, number two, number four, number five, and number six. They're all bent or something something bad's happening here we got to have a gander at her and pull her out of there we'll pull these pedestals off god all right so we have some problems i was fiddle with it and uh number one sorry check out all these push rods here we'll we'll fill every hole full of a push rod and i don't think it matters if we wipe them off right now because uh well you guys are about to see in a second here i've never seen a 12 valve in this bad a shape before Let's see here. So the only push rod that's going up and down is number one hole. The only one. So, I'm gonna guess, put my fingers on each push rod as it was spinning over, and the only one, oh, the starter just letting all this move. Again. Again. Oh, that's not good either. This valve keeper is about to fucking let go. That one there, I just noticed that. That's probably not good. But the only one that feels like it's doing anything is number one cylinder. Like at all at all. There's no drag, there's no anything on number two, three, four, five, or six hole. Alrighty, so being that the only one doing anything rocking is number one hole i'm gonna guess we're dealing with a segmented cam so what we're gonna have to do is just yank everything off this thing off the driver's side or off the passenger side here get her up on an engine stand and uh start tearing her down F he's stunned all right so we're back in the shop fiddle around this dirty old 12 l uh it's been a couple weeks since i fiddle with it but since then i washed it well kind of i did my best job of washing it and uh, let me tell you it's still really dirty but it's a hundred times better than it was so what was going on before Willard, please off please thank you so what was going on before it was cranking over and only one hole was spinning the uh was rocking the rockers i think it was even just the intake i can't remember exactly but what we're gonna do right now and then tore down and see what's all fiddle inside of it i know what's fiddle inside of that Let's get this piece apart. All right, first things first, valve cover delete. Thumbs up, and P Auto. What a sweet fiddler. Old P Auto sells these fucking totes. They're like $3.99 or something on sale. And the bolts and shit that I got laying around, I got probably four or five 12 valves that are in rebuild mode. And uh, all their bolts are in one of these things. Can't go wrong with them. Keeps them all in one spot, so when you lose them, you lose all of them. Man, I love 12 elves. Just fucking simple. Just like the guy that owns them. Alrighty, well, we'll just give it all the way here. We got uh, all that junk fuel system off the side. I don't know whose design this was, this fuel bowl heater thing, or whether it was emissions or what, but that's garbage. What you do with that thing is you just cut the 
Fucking spacer plate off, bolt it all back on without that garbage in there. Oh, a pants. All right, well, we got, got rid of all that. The injection pump ready to come off, and we're just pulling the uh, front timing cover. And the little studs here that hold the uh, tone and reader ring on for the uh, tack. Well, this guy here is supposed to be able to screw into that hole. That That's probably not good. It looks like maybe that thing's fine and this timing cover is pushed out. That might be it too. I don't know what's going on, but there's some bad going on. All right, so the more I take this thing apart, the more I'm leaning towards the killer dowel pin come apart. I don't know yet. You place your bets if you want to, but, uh, and I'm not leaning one way because I forgot to put the right leg on this morning. It's, uh, well, it was the right leg I put on this morning, but. Uh, this bolt's loose. That bolt there was loose, loose, and that's loose. Like something inside of here. Yeah, this one's loose too. Like something inside of there come apart and made it so them bolts are loose. Uh, last bolt here. Pull this cover off. Uh, I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's bad. So <laughs> the cam is definitely busted in half and these are the keepers here. Not really doing a whole lot of keeping anymore. Now as far as killer dowel pin goes, I don't see a dowel in there anymore. No, there's definitely not a dowel in there anymore. Did it rally through? I don't know yet. Well, let's just keep pulling apart. Let's pull this, uh, what's left of this camshaft out of there and uh, see what's happening. What a treat. Like th this thing went out hard. Hard, hard, all of it. You really got to admire the uh, the three different fasteners that are holding this, well, not really holding the AFC on. Well, this this one's kind of tight, the Phillips one is. But uh, yeah, things are struggling on this old girl. Someone was not too nice to her at all. Uh, let's see if the pump comes off, tickety-boo. These things are always really light too. Come on. I don't think this old girl's been apart a whole lot either. Everything seems to be uh, kind of dirty old factory condition. And by that, I mean, there's like a half inch of dirt on everything. Here she comes. That is a 215 pump though. If this motor is completely fucked, at least that thing's worth some money. Let's pull the tappa cover off now and uh, see what's crapping in there. I, I don't think it's gonna be good. Got rid of that uh, California fucking noise emissions bullshit. Can us hillbillies have any fun without you fucking California and in the punch bowl and making us drink around it for sakes? All right, so throw these guys in there. All right, let's see what crap happens when we pull this off. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. So there's some pieces there. Well, there's all kinds of followers in here. Lifters, followers, whatever the f you want to call it. They're all in here and they're all doing what they're supposed to be doing other than, oh, that one, that one's not good. There's uh, there's some chunks. I don't know what the f chunk that's from. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. That chunk's not good. That chunk's bad. Kind of like a f***ing horrendously expensive Lego set. I don't know where this f goes. We're probably gonna find out later. What we'll do is we'll try to spin it over with the fucking crank and then uh, try to get to what's left of them bolts maybe. Is that moving? Let me know if that's moving. Oh yeah, that's not even that much of a wreck. That's fine. All right, well, let's move it over until we can get to her here. A couple of 13 mils. I wonder how absolutely these bolts are gonna be. Oh, well that guy come out. Bunch of metal just fell into the bottom. That's fine. Oh, oh yeah, that's heading to the pan. Oh, more shrapnel. That's good. Let's see here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's, oh yeah, there's all kinds of goodness. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> all that stuff. The keeper, it, it doesn't look that bad still. We're still in pretty good shape. The, uh, the one bearing that these cam has still has life to it, so that's good. It wasn't riding around for a while. I don't know how you do that. You have to be really hard on gear to do that. Like all of it. Alrighty, well, meow. I think our next step is to flip her upside down and pull the pan off. This is how much you guys mean to me about these lube tube bitches. I had to pause Reba to start filming again so you guys better take uh, take note of that just a angel Alrighty, so the design of this dirt will her get out of here before this five nine lands on i say get out of here do you want the cummins to land on you you don't even know what's going on do you you're just happy you're just a happy dog all right get get out of here Alrighty, so the design of this thing was done when i was under the under heavy heavy influence of not this stunned but pretty done maybe the booze was doing stuff maybe there's some other stuff doing other things but i never really designed it to go all the way around for some 
reason because I never had the bell housing adapter on there. So you got to slide her out to here and now I got to drill a couple extra holes in it. But I mean, using a piece of exhaust pipe for a, a snipe, that's a good idea. I mean, this is just, this just has good idea written all over it. Oh, let's see here. Oh, and now my toolbox that's not snap-on is about to do something that a snap-on toolbox can't do. See, you just open that up. Is that, this might be a real bad idea. Oh, let's just see what I got here. Let's try this again. There we go. Now we'll just open this drawer up. Stay, stay. It's, oh, it's kind of staying. We'll be able to get it all in bolts like that. What do I get out of here? Let's pull this pan off and see why that is that way. I don't think this is good. Alrighty, well, Joe Diffie was just teaching me that without trucks, we wouldn't have tailgates. And to pause it again, because YouTube sucks ass sometimes. All right, so let's pull this guy off. I don't see any crank badness going on. Oh, we've got a bolt here. That's probably not good. Uh, oh, we got a, uh, a follower here. That, uh, that's not good. That's uh, probably one of the front ones, what for uh, me taking that apart. Not a whole lot of metal in here though, so that's good. Speaking about metal, did you guys listen to my music earlier? What a just a good time with that Oh, so this ballot or this uh, counterweight on the crankshaft flying around and beating the out of something. But old pistons are still in it, or all the rods are still in there. There's a lot of damage going on here. Like that, all this stuff is. I mean, that's fine. You're not gonna to wanna to worry about all that stuff. That's overrated. I'm pretty sure that's what the crank was hitting for a while. I don't know. This guy must have been going down a hill and the weight of the shipping crate was f***ing up a lot of things inside this engine. Like all of it. Like all of it and then some. What a guy's gotta do meow is try to get that camshaft out of there. We got other things that are jammed in there too. There's a lot of things in a lot of spots where a lot of things aren't supposed to be doing a lot of spots and stuff. So let's just see. Oh, this guy will come out of here. Oh no, it won't. Creek. All right. Well, we're gonna have to get ram jammy with this thing and see if we can get the cam out. So you see the follower right there? How it's leaned up against the cam, but it's not. I don't know if you can see it. It's not where it's supposed to be, but it's jammed up against the side of the fucking block. Well, I'm gonna guess there's your problem. Uh, the lobe on the cam is all bunged up as well. Yeah, we'll we'll be able to get that out of there. That'll be fine. Before you guys give me shit about having uppity tools, I got this hammer for free okay the parts from that the hole in the ground that i used to work at he uh i'm pretty sure he commandeered it from another mechanic but i'm fine with that i don't know how we're gonna be able to get oh there's a bunch of the cam that wants to come apart there's a lot of bad things going on in here there's a lot of metal like a lot man that thing is jammed in there like all of it all right so after using all of my back and what left i got for brains i jacked up the jacks and snug up the chain but that didn't work so we're gonna use air chisel now Oh, oh, that's breaking stuff. Let's see if we can't fish that out of there. All right, so we're getting it out piece by piece. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, oh, there we go. So that's all out of there, meow. Barely any metal shavings in the engine, like barely. Those aren't even metal shavings. Don't worry about that. Oh man. All right, so meow, theoretically, the camshaft should be loose in there. Now I did bung this bearing up a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and just file away at that a little bit, because that's what you're gonna wanna do. You, you know, you know, you don't wanna file your camshaft bearing. That's, that's for extra power. All right, we'll see if we can get the cam out of there. Wouldn't it be nice to be listening to a bucket of rust or a brand new machine once around the block, you know what I mean? Instead of silence, because the lube tube policies on music and She's standing on end like that. Now let's see if we can't just pop her on out. The followers should stay in their holes, maybe. Maybe not. Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Was there more? Oh yeah. How did the camshaft break in that many spots? I wonder if I can fish that through said hole. That's what she said. Well, the camshaft is in three pieces so far. How many pieces is she gonna be able to get her? Who knows? Alrighty, so we're getting her out one piece at a time. That's how you're gonna want to have your camshafts. We'll just get to weld that back together. That'll be that'll be good. So the whole camshaft is moving now, or what's left of it. Alrighty, let's pull this cam the rest of the way out of here, <laughs> or let's pull the rest of this cam the rest of the way out of here. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the full camshaft right there. Just add a little bit of hot glue and we're good to go. Man, this guy this thing off hard, like all of it. All right, so 
So the next thing we're gonna have to do, oh, there's a bunch of them that I got rallied on. Like all of them. A lot of them that don't wanna come back through the hole. Some people are just hard on sh Like all of it. All right, well, let's flip her back up and see if we can't knock all the followers through and count all the pieces as we stand her back up. Oh yeah, all the pieces are falling out of it. Alrighty, so all the followers come out of the holes. No problemo. And uh, yeah, the, the block does not seem too damaged in any of them holes. So, so that's good. Man. Alrighty, so it's pretty clear this truck was going down a hill or some kind of uh, inertia behind it when the camshaft started to fail because it when it failed it it failed all of it and the engine was definitely still running and the camshaft in some places stopped moving so what happened with that is there was some serious piston to valve contact so this one here is definitely having a bad time for sure but what we're going to do is just go down the line with my little fancy pantsy wind tool and uh see if all the valves are holding wind inside the cylinder That one's definitely leaking a bit. Is it letting by? Yeah, the intake. Ah, it's windy, but it's not bad. Good enough. Let's see what number three to low. Number one's good, I already checked it. Number three. Ah, number three's good. The keeper on number three for intake is number four. Fucking mint. Five. Five good. Let's try number six. I'm pretty sure number six exhaust is, or intake is a little bit bent. But I mean, it's holding wind good enough. So a lot of you mouth breeders and boys are probably sitting at home wondering why the f is he wasting time to see if the uh, cylinders hold, still hold wind and see if the valves are bent or whatever the f and, and you're right wondering now, like why the f am I doing this? It's kind of f stupid. I should be tearing the whole thing down and sending her off to the machine shop to have her all mintied up and this that and the other but but i think you have uh, forgotten what channel you're watching this old 12 valve is going to dial to life i gotta hear it run there's three things i've learned in my life money was made to spend women were made to love and these old 12 valves well they're made to run so we're gonna get it all put back together i got a bunch of dirty old from the uh years of collecting all this shit. we'll slap a cam in her we'll slap a one of these dealies and all the rest of the and some followers and we're gonna get it a chooch isn't that right Willard? Willard are you stunned? Alrighty well we're back to dinking around in this hot pile of shit. thank fiddlers I'm a hoarder so I had a camshaft out of a Ford school bus engine out of a 5.9 Cummins one that's not segmented like this thing so I got the cam I've got the tappets the followers whatever the you want to call them and they're uh, not all up like the ones that come out of it there's a bunch of them that are up but we got a bunch of good ones here so we got those so now all we gotta do oh I even had the uh the cam container so i had all that i had the bolts got everything let's make this thing chooch all righty well we got a cam in her we got all the uh we got the tappets all in her everything's mint good to go everything's oily everything's badass the uh this guy's not bent i threw a dial on her and spun her around she's good to go nothing bent here everything looks good here so now we all we got to do is assemble the rest of it we're gonna use nothing but new gaskets nothing but torque specs and everything's perfect so that's how we do it around here Holy but we are gonna flip it upside down or like onto its lid right now and blow out any potential metal stragglers that could be in there and then uh, then put it together. I'm about to struggle. How much struggling? All of it. These things don't get any lighter. Doesn't matter how much dinner you ate. Look at the fucking crank. Just been beat to sh That's fine though. All right, what you really gotta do here is feast your eyes on how many piles of shrapnel smashed against the bottom of this pan all of it this one almost went through and yeah i'm wearing gloves here's brake clean as the uh, well it's left its mark on the old filler all righty pans back on her i torqued them right up to the torque spec of impact i mean milwaukee wouldn't sell impact if they didn't want you to impact all those tight yeah those are all dialed in now we can stand her back up Alrighty, so we did go over this thing and pressure test every hole every hole was all right i don't know there's probably a little bit of bent valve action going on but it's not that bad but this here keeper is struggling so what we're going to do is just bring these holes up all the way to the top and pull this uh valve apart here and uh replace those keepers oh all righty well we got my fancy little apparatus bolted on there you know wind up this hole with about 50 piss eye Oh yeah, there's barely even any wind coming out of there. That's fine. Beat on her with a hammer. I'm gonna guess there's a couple valves that are a little bit tickled. 
but we're not we're not pulling the head off that i don't know valve looks good everything looks good we'll replace this the keepers and uh it should be mint good enough Alrighty, well i did a valve set on it here my uh fancy pants welded up the entire wrench and feeder gauges went over the uh, valve set everything was really really loose and now it's really really where it's supposed to be probably but uh everything's mint injectors are back in it so what we're gonna do meow turn the thing over and just see if we have a kind of an even sounding crank and that'll kind of let us know how many exhaust and intake valves are bent right the all right we got all the booster packs on the job let's just hear what happens all of it Man, the dodge wiring is real. How is it smoking that bad and it's not even warm? Alrighty, so all the non boomerang push rods are in, valve sets done, injection pumps on, everything's torqued up and dialed in. And I was just getting around to putting the fuel pump back on the old pile of And just feast your eyes on the amount of picked up in that fuel filter screen or that fuel pickup screen. Hashtag farmer diesel. Fuck. Alrighty, well, I just went in the house, got my feet on, or aqua shack, got my food on there, would admit this come back out put my coveralls back on and while i was putting my cubbies on i'm a fat guy so i was struggling and i looked on the floor and lo and beer hold what the did i find i found a dowel pin all right now i think we found our smoking gun finally i found the dowel pin on the ground and had a bunch of teeth marks in it <laughs> so finally i have a 12l that the killer dowel pin killed things there you go now we got our smoking gun because uh I'm gonna guess that pound's home in there. Just perfect. It's almost like it's a tall or a tight fit. Oh yeah, there we go. We'll just pound that back home, stick a little tab on there, she's mint. And no, we're not gonna wipe any of that clay off of there. I mean, that's, that's cheating. There we go. Mint. Oh, there we go. Now the camshaft won't segment again. That, that's fine. All right, well after all the fiddle, all the clickety clacking, we got it all dialed up. I think we got the fuel system primed. Somewhat anyway. I'm pretty sure there was a bunch of bucket but i mean that that's fine you don't need to worry about that a little bit of on sale at princess auto cosby sauce it's cranker <laughs> oh ether locking that's good for it let's see what happens now Look at the smoke coming out of the starter. Like the Dodge wiring is real. Let's try it again. A little snort this time. A little less ether lock action. My hand is burning on the starter. Oh, the smoke coming out of the starter.
some kind of an unfavorable growl. Probably a real bad noise. I don't know what the f it is that's chattering around in there, but uh, I mean, that's fine. We'll fire it back up. talk about all the how dare you's and this that and the other but that is all the how dare you's <coughs> oh that was the good stuff Alrighty, well after all those forest fires and seasoning the old lungs in for the uh for the smoke <coughs> really just a nice potent burden to the old deep lung section but uh but she does run if a guy were to do anything with his old prick he'd have to take it to the machine shop and have the block all gandered at and I'm gonna guess some of the cam journals I don't know this sounds like the cams flopping around in there or something's vibrating pretty bad or it could have been the uh, half ass way I uh, just rasped the uh, cam bearing at the end back together but there's a lot of things going on with this old pile but it's a real good parts engine and for the price I got it for I mean it was just a sore dick deal the guy couldn't beat her so I do need a spare head because I up a head off one of these things one time so the head seems good i could bring that in and get it rebuilt the uh yeah and everything else is a good part so i don't know what the f i'm gonna use this thing for but it's you know i mean you can't not buy a dirty old 12 valve when they're good deals that's just how it works but yeah like i said i don't know what the f i'm doing with it i have no idea but i didn't want to get the f thing running it was uh it, it took a little bit of fiddle f around a little bit of dinking and uh all it was was f laying around anyway so that was f mint and i mean <coughs> You don't need lung capacity. It did go from having a three-piece cam to running. I mean, that's pretty badass. What do you guys think in the comment section with that low-end chatter is, though? That, that low-end chatter does sound like maybe the case is up, like the timing case, and the gears are hard meshing together or or something. I, I don't know exactly, but uh, I know that's probably not a good sound. These things usually idle like silk, so. But it came a long way from where it was, and, and that's all that matters. Who made these god things? Willard's wife. Alrighty, mouth breeder to mom. Appreciate you watching this garlic. I figured you guys might enjoy the old uh, resurrection of the old zombie 12 valve. I mean, she was dead, but we brought her back to life. I mean, what kind of life was it? Probably pretty brief before she gets pulled down, but uh, but it still shoots back to life, and that's all that matters. Isn't that right, Willard's wife? Willard's wife. But if you guys want to put down on the fucker as to what the you think might be going on as to the uh growly low end so like underneath a thousand rpm chattery crunchy noise that's coming out of there i'm gonna guess it's cam journals but uh if you guys want to put the talker as to what the you think it might be it'd be uh, an interesting read for sure um I, I think i cleaned out most of the that was in the cam journal like i did a pretty good job but maybe i didn't I mean, that that does happen i mean years of alcohol brake clean rigging ranching and all the rest of the fiddle it, sometimes it leaves its mark and then it, that's permanent that's uh kind of like willard's microwaving that, that, that ain't going anywhere willard are you microwave bud did you get hit by the back over today you ain't done well that was a good time getting her all running but uh much like always I'd like to thank all the minty pricks that make all this derelict garbage possible and they also keep my freedom of speech paid for don't they willard don't they are you stunned you want to go get doc johnson oh he would oh don't touch that thing willard you don't know where it's been Oh, now you're gonna have to lick your ass to get the taste out of your mouth. That's why all those cop dogs are always licking their ass to get the taste of criminals out of their mouth. You know that, Willard? Wasn't your dad a cop dog? You stunned. But yeah, much like always, like the thank all you minty pricks keeping this boat afloat. Uh, we started off with the old 10 buckers. We got Skookum Chucher, Nathan Baker, Minty America, Matthew Anderson, Lucy. Lando Ewok, Joe's Garage, Jeff's House, Jacob Sanders, Dakota Ray, CJ Callahan. Alrighty, well, we got 1202 at uh, Katie, or is that Katie? Katie with a C? Caddy? Caddy Golubski? Katie Golubski. Their name I've never said before. Uh, I got 1569. We got William Stun Griffins, 1776. You don't have to worry about safety. 20. We got Wes Brown, Timber Murdy, Stephen Stills, Sab Jitty 1987, Nuke Fire, Mark Kinzel, Hugh G. Rection, and Cade. I, you know, I actually talked to Cade on the Instagram. The guy's beauty is f He said the $20 that he gave me on Patreon was the best 20 bucks he's ever f spent. Well, buddy, you've probably made some real f purchases in your life, but uh, I mean, I, I can I can relate. Don't worry. All right, we got the 25 bucker. Ridgeway's Locknut Remover, Honcho, Frody Lee Hagem, and a 50 
Buckers, thank you very much. We got Matthew Whalen. It's a pretty badass name. All right. Well, not only did we got a bunch of minty pricks that stick around like to a blanket, which I really appreciated. A bunch of you hair lips that have been in there for a couple years or just a long ass time, and I appreciate the living out of it. But these hair lips have been sticking around for a while, and they seem fit to give my fat ass a raise. All righty. So those minty pricks are we got pete 389 jeremy layton eric patzold jared pippen is that jared pippen is that needy speed shop justin lareach jason nord devin yantis rage cage 1776 buddy that's a badass name max monroe oc brady wayne brady oh it's wayne brady son <laughs> oh, oh. Leon Schofield, Robert, John Harford, Wyatt Cambit, Christian Jackson, Andrew McKinstry, Jonathan Province, Joshua Glass, Luke Turner, Michael Oakland, Zachary Parscaver, 6.7 Cummins, your mama, <laughs> Bobby, Joshua Dunmeyer, Long Schlongman at 12.02, Minty America, Hunter Harris at 15.40, Matthew Weber at 20 Beans, Old Pork Chop, Loose Asshole gave me a raise. I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. And Sancho. The thing about using this stool as a uh, a parts washing bench is waiting for someone to sit on it after because i don't i don't want to sit on that i'm gonna wait for someone else to do it Alrighty, well once again i'd just like to thank all you minty pricks for sticking around until next time keep out of your oh and to the, to the buddy who gave me this thing mint look at that that is a giant pile of mint if i've ever seen it